We are all freaking out. We are running around the house. We have gathered here together in the basement. The results are in. Three, two, one, go. What does it say? Hello, good morning, and what up? Welcome to spring break officially. It is underway, and what are we doing? Just like we said we were doing, partying up in the backyard, going down the water slide, having so much fun in the swimming pool. Is that what we're doing? No, that's not what we're doing. We are out here, pretty cold, but doing our best to stay warm by heating up the court right now. So we are all four out here just chilling. We are anxiously anticipating and awaiting the official announcement on Rye Guy's student council election. There is the elected position for vice president, then there's the appointed position that he interviewed for on the student body student council. So we are just refreshing the app, checking our emails, and waiting somewhat patiently for the results of that. It should be out today for sure. We thought we have sun in the sky. It is actually dry. That rhymed and I don't know why. Me and the kids came out here to shoot some hoops, have some fun on the court while we can. It is actually a decent weather day today. Very, very bright. Don't be fooled. Snow is in the forecast. We'll not be cracking up the swimming pool or the water slide over this spring break. Speaking of spring break, you guys hope you enjoyed the little April Fool's Day prank. Today is April Fool's, but the video that went out today on April Fool's was our arrival in Hawaii as we landed, touched down on the island of Maui, Oahu, wherever you want to pretend we were. That was actually an April Fool's prank. Clearly, we are not in Hawaii. Clearly, we are here in our backyard. But it was last year at this time during spring break that we went to Maui. If you want to check that out, we made a full length feature film movie of our experience and our trip to Maui. We'll link that for you guys. It's a ton of fun. An amazing spring break last yeah. year. This year, we are just out here chilling, waiting to find out if I got any student council yeah. or not. Soaking in the sun that we have here in the mountains of Utah. And I gotta say that's pretty warm, dude. When sure I saw you guys out here shooting hoops, I was like, ooh, I bet 45. that's chilly. I mean, 45? It's no 80 on the beaches of Hawaii, but sure. I'll take it. I'll take it and out here shooting hoops. The crew on the court gets a little bit hotter. He starts to go pure fire from three. Rye guy with a dunk. Crew, if that goes in, hit the like button. He missed really badly. Please hit the like button to help him improve. All right, guys, so. Okay, and if I make this, you guys all have to subscribe. All right, here we go. Literally, subscribe this instant. <laughs> nope. Oh, he made it. Did you? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Rex. Are you coming or no? We're still using the rocks and mulch to get here because grass has not yet grown attached to the ground below it. Hoping as we move into more spring-like temperatures that that's gonna happen. This thing needs to take root, get set. We have some very big plans and big parties coming up very soon, you guys. We have Maddie coming home this month. I can officially say that now as it is April. It is April 1st. Madison comes home this month from the Dominican Republic. She'll be returning to San Diego. We'll be going out there to welcome her home and then she'll be coming here. Gonna do another big welcome home bash for her here. Her brand new home in her brand new backyard. We are very, very stoked Everybody about that. It's gonna be amazing. All that stuff going down April. April showers, as you know, bring May flowers. So we're just hoping the spring is around the corner and that this is the beginning of many, many bright, beautiful days in the backyard to come. Let's go. All right, here we go. We're gonna play. Oh, let's get it, baby. Let's go, Katie. Let's go. Me and Brad, we're just doing our guy. Play on this high. Let's go. Well done. Daisy, it's spring break. Should we go down the water side? Yeah! Oh yeah, three, two, one, send it! <laughs> oh wait, the snow kind of melted though. There's not as much. I'm so excited to be cooking today. More than that, I'm so excited to tell you about HelloFresh. We are partnering again with them. We could not be more excited. I've had dreams of this day cooking these kind of meals in this kitchen. I finally get to do it. Before we get started, I'll always tell you guys, great deal you can get with them. All you need to do is go to hellofresh.com, use code TIHWB21. It'll get you 21 free meals plus free shipping. That's a way to start off the new year. I have a couple of amazing recipes. Mindy, I am stoked about these. Like, they're decide. always bangers. They're always amazing, but these ones what do we do? might be three of my faves. So tell them what we got. What okay. are our options? So right here we have Italian chicken and pepper sandos. Love it. Kind of looks like a Philly cheese right chicken. Up. Potato wedges and a tangy garlic sauce. Hello, mm -hmm. I love garlic. Mm -hmm. We have the bulgogi pork tenderloin. <laughs> have, bulgogi. Are you saying that right? I doubt I it. Know. <laughs> Roasted carrots and lemony rice. <laughs> Meatloaf a la mom. We've had that one. That this one's one is amazing. Amazing. So here's They're what I'm going to say. I think we've had that one recently. So let's try something fresh for this one. This looks unreal. This has a lunch vibe to me. Yeah. I think that looks amazing, but I think for I would sure. love that for a lunch. Yeah. So I say we do this one okay, for dinner tonight. The cool part is down here at the bottom, it'll tell you like, oh, you have this much prep time, this much cook time. This one seems good in tonight's calendar. Like 
like Mindy said, we have been looking forward to very much cooking delicious meals like this in this amazing kitchen. We are so stoked and excited to be here. And in the new year, been cooking a lot. I mean, I can't say that I have been, but I feel like we've been having a lot of home cooked meals, Mindy. We have been, and that is something that I was so looking forward to do, especially after we moved. This is so easy because it comes right to your doorstep. Kind of made this like personal goal that I just wanted to cook for my family more often. Very important. HelloFresh makes that so simple, so easy because like Mindy said, groceries show up at your door. You have them pre-portioned so you have exactly what you need for that meal. No excess, no extra, nothing getting wasted or thrown out. And it really helps you hit those New Year's goals out of the park because one of them yes. might be eating out less. You want a restaurant quality meal in home. Guess what? HelloFresh is going to make that possible. I've personally been loving the meals here in the home. HelloFresh is always one of our favorites. This one looks like it might be top of the list for this new year. In the new year, a lot of people are trying to save some money, especially after buying a brand new home, something on our to-do list. Check check. Save some cash. Did you know that HelloFresh actually helps you save money all year round? Now you might be thinking, how was that so, Brandon? HelloFresh is actually cheaper than going to the grocery store. Part of the reason being, you only get exactly what you need, so you're not getting anything to waste. It is significantly cheaper than takeout. I think you probably knew that, but did you know that it's 25% cheaper than takeout? So not only does it taste better, smells better, healthier. it's healthier, it's fresher, and it's cheaper. Hello? I have been most excited about this sauce. It looks so good. Oh, so many fresh ingredients. I'm always all about the sauce. Ingredients. It's so good. And you guys, HelloFresh gets farm to you in less than seven days. Always fresh. That's insane. Always good. Yeah. It's gonna be way fresher than getting anything at the grocery store. Think about that. It leaves the farm and shows up on your doorstep in less than seven days. That is like kind of awesome. Unreal. I gotta think it's the reason everything just tastes so good. So good. And they have so many different plans. They have like carb smart, they have calorie smart. Just so you guys can hit your New Year's goals, whatever those are. Still eat delicious food. You don't have to eat junk or not eat. You can eat delicious, amazing food, super fresh, and hit those Speaking goals, of baby. Which, mm, is I'm it almost ready? ready? To eat. I'm Let's ready. Eat. <laughs> Putting the finishing touches oh my gosh. on this meal that and it incredible. smells amazing. It smells as good it as it looks. Smells you can't say that about a lot of things. I know. <laughs> if you want to try HelloFresh, all you have to do is go to HelloFresh.com, use our code TIHWB21, and that will get you 21 free meals plus free shipping. That is a great way to it start the new year. It is a great way. Check it out. Make your life easier. There's so many things to overcomplicate life. Don't make dinner one of them. We are all freaking out. We are running around the house. We have gathered here together in the basement. The results are in. All right, guys. Two by yeah, election. Guys, I'm so nervous I'm about to cry and it doesn't matter at all. Dude, I want you to know this on and off camera. Like, no matter the results, I'm proud of you for putting yourself out there. I hope the student council is part of your ninth grade year. I am, like I can't even stand this. I'm just, really so nervous. Results just came in, top of your iPad, click to view. I love you. Three, two, one, go. Two, one, go. What does it say? Oh, wow, it's all black, I cannot read it. Student body president, Bailey. Bailey got student body president? Are you joking me? Student body vice president and I'm appointed though. You got appointed? Yeah. So you're on student okay, council good. as an appointed member I of student council. I knew that council. would happen, but good. All right, guys, so you're still on. Yeah, that's, that's awesome. scary. That is We had to take a quick moment to digest and fully understand and comprehend what Ryler just discovered on his iPad. He just got the notification, just got the election results. You guys, the results are in. Why are you yelling? Mindy, <laughs> we're hyped up. This is exciting. Ryler, the big question is, are you going to be on student council next year? Yes. Yes, he is. Let's go. Let's hear it. <laughs> Congratulations. Now, the reason that we got a little bit confused there is because as you know, he ran for vice president of his school. That is an elected position. He campaigned for it, had posters in the hall, made that sick fun video, such a good job. did an amazing job. We were so thrilled and so excited. We were a little confused though because the president and vice president have been announced. We are thrilled and ecstatic that his friend who he was kind of running with, one president, yes, awesome. the new it president of the so school, awesome. she's going to be amazing. She's incredible. Amazing. And it's a girl. And it's okay? a girl. Yeah. Remember that. Girl power. Girl power. Girl power. Girl power. Girl power. <laughs> Oh, we we're a little confused because the person who won vice president did not run for vice president. So that's why we took a little pause there because we we're trying to figure out exactly what went down. But I think what they ended up doing, a little bit confusing, but I think they just took the top two vote getters overall and then made them president and vice president. So the vice president is actually the person who ran against Ryler's friend for president. So we were a little bit confused. So Ryler did not win through the election, the vice president, but it's kind of strange because nobody who ran for vice president did. It was, yeah. it was just like the guy who didn't get president, basically they gave him vice president instead. And so it was a little bit confusing, but I think 
think the, the main goal here, Stud, that you wanted was to be able to serve on student council yeah. again, finish our junior high career, yeah. ninth grade in student council, yeah, which you got. Wanted, I just wanted to be on student council. We've been kind of pumping them up a little bit because the reality is to get the appointed position means that you pass the interview, the people who run the thing, teachers, faculty, that's who they want to see on the yeah. team. But to us as parents, that gets us even more excited than getting the popular so vote is to be able to say, hey, this is who the adults want in charge. Yeah. This is who faculty wants in charge. Yes, and one thing that's like kind of cool, yes, they were campaigning for president and vice president. The cool part is all the kids that are on student council, seventh, eighth, and ninth graders, kind of are all collectively just a team. And that's what I love. Girl power. <laughs> <laughs> well, right, guys, we could not be more proud of you and your efforts. Putting yourself out there, running for vice president, making it on the student council to the appointed position. Next year is going to be amazing, dude. Yeah. How sick is this? You go out for a ride. Oh boy, I think my thing's dying. Oh shoot, it's dying. I'm dying. It's dead. I can't make it up the hill. Dang it. I gotta walk it back. But we got cinnamon rolls. While we're out on our ride, a neighbor stopped us and gave us cinnamon rolls to take home. Uh -huh. <laughs> I love this place. We're wrapping up this day. Ready to head into some spring break action. Yeah. We've got an entire week off of school. Kids are ready to do some movies, some fun times. We're gonna go find some fun things to do. Be prepared to head to San Diego, actually, yeah. after oh, spring so break. Excited. So we are so excited, but you guys super proud of Rye Guy putting himself out there. Thank Congratulations, you. bro. On yep. student council again. Getting a little bit of confusion around the election process there, but once we process and figured it all out, we're just grateful. He's gonna be yeah, serving again I'm on student council. That's what he's excited for. And really everybody, like mom said, pitches in, everyone helps out. There's really no yeah. division in the positions. And so he's just excited to be with some of his friends, yeah. be working with the new president and the new vice president. So that's gonna be fun. It's gonna be awesome. Can't believe we're already thinking of the next school year. And also can't believe that we have a kid going into high, high school. school. Freshman in high yeah. school, serving on the student council. Mm -hmm. My guy. Guys, other big things going on tomorrow. Mom's getting biopsied. I know yes. a lot of people have been wondering have a biopsy. status on that. They're gonna going on in my neck, they're gonna numb my face. How does that exactly work? They're taking out a piece from the outside or the inside? How's it's that just work? a little tiny needle that they put in into the they... lymph node, and then I think they just pull it out. I won't know anything tomorrow, I don't imagine. Not that fast, I wouldn't think. But yeah. we love you. Thanks for hanging out with us. Yeah. Thanks for all the love and support for Raga throughout the entire campaign Thank process. <laughs> Brexton's a vibe. We love you guys. Good night, everybody. We'll see you later. Bye. Bye. Yeah. Go power. <laughs> <laughs>